new feature number one one top feature is a new interface you're looking at the legacy interface here but if you go to the edit menu under preferences now you'll actually get to see themes and there are several to choose from for instance if i choose light blue and click ok you've changed the interface to a lighter blue this is to accommodate uh, a visual uh, easiness to make it easier for you to use the software so let's go back up here to uh, preferences again and this time I'm gonna actually change mine to silver and you've got a brand new skin here so play around with those I think you're gonna love them in addition to that on the bottom you'll see a swatch table now with some brand new types of patterns in here just click on a pattern and you'll be able to apply that right to your image up here there's a lot of different new patterns that we've included now right inside the software very very nice in addition to that You'll notice on the bottom, I'm actually seeing a tab down here. So if I open a different file, and we'll go ahead and open up a different file here. I'm just going to scroll down and look for a file to use. And uh, let's go ahead and try this one here. I'm just opening that file up, and you'll see that not only does it open the file up, it adds it as a second tab on the bottom. That makes it easier for me to switch between each one of those files. Since this was vector artwork, it also loaded the swatch table for those vectors. So it automatically loaded up those swatch tables. You can actually turn that on and off. That is a feature that is brand new. Top feature number two, artboard contrast. When you're working with color or with patterns and so forth, it's easy to see lettering. But what if your lettering is white? When you click off of that, you can't even see it. Now you can, because the artboard can be changed in contrast. So you can change how much contrast you want on the artboard so that you can see your lettering easily. This is especially important when working with white. For instance, I want to add a contour cut to these particular graphics here. So I'm going to change the artboard contrast and I notice there's actually a white border around the child down here. Well, I can simply click on that background back there and then click OK and that will make that background transparent and I can verify it by using my contrast on the artboards. Here's top number three, in my opinion weed paths you can actually make a custom weed path if you just draw a line something like that and then select the uh, the two pieces that's vector artwork right there right click on it and just go down to weed path and create a weed path guess what happens it actually creates that line that stops right on the edge of my lettering in this case that's now considered a weed line so you can cut that as a weed line very very interesting okay Here's another really great one. Let's go back here and let's make sure that that little boy has that uh, transparency behind it. It looks like it doesn't. In fact, let's zoom in on this real quick. There we go. And let's use our uh, Make Transparent tool. We'll just click on the background behind the boy here and we'll say OK to that. And it's going to make that transparent for us. Really, really nice. Now, what's really nice also, and for this demonstration, I'm actually going to go back to a white artboard. Let's select all three of these. And down at the bottom, we now have a contour cut in different colors. So we have cut contour, perf contour, contour cut one, contour cut two. We've even added a color for white, spot white, a color for spot clear. These are all very, very important when it comes to working with white inks. So we'll talk about those in the full training course, but let's just make a contour cut around all these. So we're gonna do one here. Okay, let's undo that, sorry about that going to select those and we're going to go to effects and contour cut right and then what it's going to do is is it's going to automatically look at my graphic and it's going to assign that grayish contour cut there which of course you can make any size that you want so we're going to apply that okay so we've made a contour cut but what about adding a perf cut to it well in the past what would happen is is that it would add a perf cut no problem but it would be the same color gray and it's kind of a little hard to distinguish the two well now all we've got to do is go back here do contour cut again and instead of that gray color let's go down here and let's go ahead and choose perf contour cut click ok and now you've got you can tell exactly what is a contour cut what is a perf cut it just makes that workflow easier to work with very very good capability 
top feature number four, I think is a really good one, and that is more compatibility with PDF formats. For instance, here I've designed something in Flexi, and if I go to File and Export, and I want to export that as a PDF file, something is very, very important. Instead of leaving Suppress Options on, I'm going to uncheck that, because when I export this as a PDF, we now have new options that make it more compatible with other programs that use PDF files. We can export this as the original color space, RGB, CMYK. If there's lab colors, we can convert them to RGB. We can include the border. We can tell it how much resolution we want. There's a lot more options here so that it's more compatible down the line with other software if you need it. Feature number five, which I think is great. This is great for working with um, any kind of file right inside of Production Manager. Let me show you what I mean. Let's double click on this file here. That's going to bring up the job properties for that particular file. I'm going to go to the last tab over here. That last tab is called the Transparency tab. And you can see if I want to print white ink underneath this, for instance, there's white behind here. Guess what? I can just say make a transparent background, click on that color, click similar areas, all that white is gone. What you have left now is just the image itself. I can actually click here and say, show me what that transparency looks like. And you can actually see it right there. You can even go smooth edges and choose to smooth out the edges a little bit around the edge of there so that your white just goes perfectly to the edge of your pattern. You can even come in here and set, oh, let's make a quarter inch in here. And let's go in here and turn on contour cut lines right inside of Production Manager. You can even go here and say, I want to look at the contour preview. And it shows you your contour cut lines. You can even go to a specific tab over here, which actually handles the white inks specifically. And that is just run right here called the Output Preview Channel. This gives you all the colors. You just turn on the channel, turn off the color, and say, I want to see what the white ink's going to look like. I want to see what the white ink's going to look like here. I want to see what the varnish is going to look like. I want to see what the varnish looks like. You just turn them on and off. In fact, you control how that white prints by simply going to your transparency tab here and choosing the way you want it to look, right? Let's turn off our contour cut lines here. Let's just say we want to make solid under everything, or maybe we want to do just spot color or variable color. Just choose the option that you want. As soon as you choose it, you can go back over here, turn on those colors, and you will actually see a preview that will show up on your screen right here. This is how easy it is to use the transparency tab to control your white placement, your chokes, your spreads, all kinds of things. And it's specific to each printer. So no matter what printer you choose, you'll have the options you need to work with transparencies, white inks, and contours right inside a production manager.